Um, have you fought something? Uh, no, it should be. Why is it not shit there? Yep. <laughs> of course, the moment I click it on, it shows up again. Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain Lillian tonight, along with. Smitri here, who is not being screenshot to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it has been a bit. Uh, let me. I don't want to show too much of that because there's personal stuff in there, of course. And of course, I managed to accidentally flash that to everyone. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is. Hmm. Yeah, uh, this is No One Lives Forever, and the, like I said in the first time we streamed this, this game is a bit picky when when it wants to be recorded. In this case, it only wants to really work properly when I use a screen you know, full-on monitor capture for it. Uh, Thank yeah. you. I'll, I'll just edit a quick black screen over that uh, afterwards, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it has been a while since we managed to stream because work has just been absolutely a drag. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he keeps saying he will stream after noon, but he keeps sleeping past it. But I don't blame him for it. Yeah, I, I've, been, I've been stuck with night shifts, and though they aren't exactly difficult, they are bloody draining to the point that basically I get home around seven, uh, typically fall asleep at uh, eight, and then nine hours later I wake up and still feel drained. So yeah, not been much energy for streaming lately, sorry. Again, I don't blame you, I blame your work. Uh, let's see, which of these was our last save? This one here. Is the latest yet yeah, a tenuous tenuous lead? Yeah. And... Why does my hand still hurt? I hear you used to work over at Misery. Were you involved in that giant laser incident? You heard about that? Misery. <laughs> Heck yeah. We had a betting pool. I was so sure you guys were gonna vaporize the Empire State Building. <clears throat> Oops. I guess I owe you some money then. What happened anyway? We hired some non-union technicians to put in the cooling system. No kidding. It was a nightmare. Tell me about it. It's amazing the whole secret base didn't blow up. It pays to hire professionals. Anyway, welcome aboard, Keith. Good to have you on the team. I appreciate it. I got a good feeling about this organization. <laughs> the heck? Uh, anyways, <laughs> last time... <clears throat> uh, last time uh, <laughs> Kate got saddled uh, as a well, a, as a henchman to uh, a, an American spy called uh, Goodman. I'm actually blanking on his first name at the moment. And uh, we're current we're gu currently investigating uh, strain uh, suspicious shipments of chemicals. After well, we failed to <laughs> extract. Well, we succeeded at extracting. Uh, I'm also blanking on the bloody doctor's name. Uh, but yeah, after we f uh, f succeeded and then failed to extract a biochemical uh, uh, researcher uh, who basically was making, well, serums to turn people into living bombs. And uh, yeah, we'd rather not have that in the, w in the hands of harm. <laughs> Okay, People we're wondering off. why my hand is hurting. I was struggling to open a bottle. Yeah. I had to give up. I take another bottle of the same drink. That one opened just peacefully. And yeah, so it, it has been years I had a bottle so refusing to be opened that it almost. That I think one of the time uh, years ago they actually made my hand bleed. Yeah, some bottles can be really... Oh. I think he heard us. Showing that even if you are crouching, you can still be heard. Though he doesn't seem to be alert enough to actually come investigate. Uh, but yeah, um, this might also be a bit of a shorter stream as well. Because, yeah, life just keeps throwing obstacles into the... Into the 
in the way with our streaming because we have a, a family friend coming over to, well, cut everyone's hair in around 15 minutes. Uh, I should be able to delay my turn to, well, the end, uh, to be the last one, but that still might mean we're going to end up short with, on time. Yep. Uh, let's see. We can pick this lock, but this guy is in the way. And there's another one right around the corner. What Go. the? There's something <laughs> down here in the chat. Hello, I noon. <laughs> Hello, noon. Even I can't tell what those are <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. Wasn't there someone right here? I feel like Noon's pink name makes it too hard to read with the background. No, I mean the the emotes. I yeah, can't tell two. what those are either. Yeah, the, the emotes are as well a bit... I don't know they're moving. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to risk walking into the edge of that guy's line of sight. So let's see if we can lure him here. Yep. Okay. There's no need to use phosphorus rounds on him. And we get an AK. Thank you. And our coin back. Oh dear. Okay. Again, this game uh, doesn't like it when you destroy cameras, so we can't do that. There's a camera in here as well. And hello as well, Noon. <laughs> The hell is. I also feel like you have been of late in an extra cute mood of late. You. Oh dear. Okay, there it is. It's blocking this way at the moment. There we go. Now we, we can just dance back and forth as it turns. Just hope that nobody's in any of these offices, otherwise we're going to have a problem. Uh, I can always try to bribe them with my chili chocolate. Yes, I'm eating. I'm about to eat a little bit of chili pepper chocolate. Dark chocolate. Hmm. I don't think I've ever tried any of that, though I have wanted to, because I do like chocolate and I do like spicy food. Uh, I recommend it. Just... Small bites. Yeah, for obvious reasons. Yeah, like it. it it's easy, like you can use the spice as a flavor between drinking something between them, but if you're gonna take a big bite without drinking afterwards, it's just gonna get more painful to get rid of it. Let's see. To human resources from Lieutenant Brady Hans Muller is late for his third shift this week. Please terminate immediately. Now we can guess what that means. And now we just gotta get our way out again. Okay. Nothing too useful, but still better to have it cleared out here than have someone running <laughs> from behind us. Okay. But yeah, our main objectives at the moment are, well, to run the route with Goodman. And then we need to get on that ship. Let's see. I'm not hearing any other cameras. Ooh. We do have other agents around. There we go. I, I had a feeling he would spot the body. Luckily, he didn't immediately sound the alert. Otherwise, we would have been in... <laughs> Quite a bit of a hairy situation. Yep. And I did not burp in surprise. <laughs> Again, pardon for the burping. I forgot no to problem. add ice to my drink. Again. Yeah, do I use they are actually a bit more burp inducing, but they're freshly opened as well. Like I need to have it. I think I should start doing that again, that I open it a day before. Because we out all the fists from it. Okay, what that's going to do, but it's probably... Uh, probably not good. <laughs> ah! 
Okay, he didn't get a shot off, so nobody got alerted. And that did lure him over without actually, well, causing a fuzz. So overall, that was a good thing. Really? Did you just think a yab at me? No. Oop. Oh, wait, oh yeah, wait, I, I said face, not fuzz. This came to my drink. Never mind. Okay, gotta be careful with these things for very obvious reasons. Wait. Hey, and do you see what it says on the barrels? It's uh, NP. No problem. No, I don't know. <laughs> uh, today's shipments uh, 50 barrels of no problem gas, <laughs> neuron gas. <clears throat> See, Gunther, I've had it with this stupid organization. To buy myself some time, I opened the main steam valve uh, and hit the handle in a pool of acid. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I doubt that Swine and Brady would approve of me leaving, Hans. Okay, so someone figured out they were going to, well, sack him. Probably with a sack full of rocks. So he threw them the middle finger first. These guys really are the da most dangerous. Uh, and there's the alerts. No, 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 no. Apollo has to win first. Go. Oh. Get himself killed by the steam. Oh, no. Wait, don't tell me you didn't know this when you just did that, Helian. What, shot him in the dick or something? Yes. He <laughs> even so did the bull uh, hand over growing part. <laughs> Give me that. Uh, Foreman Vanderberg from Maintenance. Supervisor Wagner has depleted storage in Area 4. Fuel barrels now routed to Warehouse 893. Okay. And, yeah, it's pretty clear which of these can be opened because they have a little gap around it. But, yeah, these guys are the most dangerous for stealth because, well, if they're just standing still and not talking to anyone, they're perfectly stealth. And the only way to find them is to well, literally run across them. Like you run across the stream? That was how for help gone from just that. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm not drinking was water. I'm drinking Luca Crush. Basically a good replacement for soda. It's, it's basically bubble water, but with some hint, a bit more fruit juice into it. So it's more sugar from, it's more sugar from the fruit than added sugar. He didn't mean any harm. Well, I'm pretty sure he meant uh, all the harm. Oh, wait, his full name is Hans Mueller? Yeah. Wait, isn't that a celebrity? Mm, don't think so. Oh, oh, there they are. I thought they were behind this door. Nobody here. Okay, let's not yeah. risk getting... Oh, someone heard that. Perhaps it is time to get sober after all. <laughs> uh, have you seen the missing steam valve? The pressure buildup is causing hazardous leaks all over the place. Please replace the you know, valve before I'm forced to use you know, sterner measures, Lieutenant Brady. I'm pretty sure you would, it would be better to keep backups of vital equipment like that, but... Let's see. Go. Wait, what's... Uh, okay, Noon, can you translate this for us? Fire hose. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, th that is a fire hose. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, a, more, a more accurate translation as far as I'm aware would be, well, fire and then snake. <laughs> or something like that. Actually, I think I misread the first as fever slug. 
Morning. The electrical system in warehouse 892 is currently under repair. Tampering with the system may result in loss of power. It, well, we tampered with it. Uh, which hopefully will have turned off the electricity on the free... Oop. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> hopefully that turned off the electricity on the freaking ladder. No. Now we have to find that pool where Hans hit the freaking... <laughs> The pool of acid where Hans hit the, the thing. Uh, what have we here? Uh, to maintenance, Swarm and Vandenberg have received shipment of 37 fuel barrels at warehouse 893. Why? Advice? Oh, they didn't tell oh. him they were sending it over there. Oh no, I just realized. Was that thing led next to uh, Ash Tray? Yep. Are oh, you telling me on the very first episode, I mistook. A huge ashtray for Pornomag. Yep. <laughs> Come on, get up. Come on, Kate. Did you break the ladder? Go, okay, but... Oh. But the... Come... There we go. Uh, don't oh. ask me why that was so difficult for some reason. What the heck? D did you put a spell on it, Noon? Uh, oh wait, no, but you're a fox now, no longer a fairy. Unless you're a magic box, fox? Let's see. Where could that pool of acid be hidden? I don't want to go... Uh, I don't want to run through the steam again, but because they will probably kill us. Let's go. Thank you. Or, actually, I think it's over there. Yep, it was over here. Okay. Now we can turn that off and continue down the other way. There we go. They even have that little poof go out to show that everything is sealed. Okay. Still gonna be careful. Putting up a quick save just in case. Oh, hello, good man. I almost shot you. It's about damn time I said one hour, not at your convenience. Things got complicated. Your friend was killed. The one I was supposed to meet behind the club. What? Damn it. Poor bastard. It was a trap. Well, I hope you don't mind walking into another one. Looks like someone's expecting us. There's bad guys all over the place. I, I met a few on the way here. They were very unfriendly. Well, don't worry, I've got a plan. We just need a diversion. Easier said than done. I'm a professional, sister. I took the liberty of planting some time bombs. That ought to get their attention. After what happened at the club, I didn't want to take any chances. Excellent. When do the fireworks begin? Well, there's just one problem. When you didn't show up after an hour, I got nervous and deactivated the timers. We'll have to reset them. There are four in that warehouse over there. If you can take care of those, I'll tend to the others. How will I find them? I stuck them to fuel barrels. You just have to keep your eyes open. Once you find them, set them to go off at 11.15. That'll give us half an hour. Meet me back here when you're done. And don't be late this time. I'll do my best. You shot it good, man. <laughs> your, your guy got shot. Okay. Well, yeah. Back to finding barrels with bombs on them. <laughs> okay. What's that code? Wait. Oh. A classic old school spy girl pose. Right. Yep. Did she really need... Never mind, this game is about the spy tropes. Yeah. <laughs> Though they do handle it way better than some spy games. I'm honestly curious how this game and Austin Powers would compare to it. Really, Kate? You're going to knock on that? <laughs> Near turtles? Uh, special delivery. 
Well, yeah, I'm curious how uh, this game and Austin Powers would compare. Oh dear. I don't know. I, th I think I, I can enjoy Austin Powers more as an adult, but as a kid, I actually hated Austin Powers. I found him creepy. Yeah, he kind of is. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he's one of those that only works for an uh, for adult audience or a bit older audience. But for a kid, yeah, most kids will just be freaked out. Yeah, well, Austin Powers is meant for the adults, not for the kids. True. <laughs> Let's see. From maintenance to maintenance from Vanderburg. We do not have space in warehouse 893 for the fuel barrels. Please find alternative storage location. Okay, so they're just, just logistical bickering. Okay. Do I hear footsteps? Okay, gonna look for now and making a uh, making a sculpting anthro cat model. Okay, have fun with that. And oh, good luck with that. I hope we get to see it sometime. There's one there. There's a camera. And suddenly I imagine that cap sculpture is a cat version of you, Helian. With glasses and eye patch. Hello? Damn it. Uh, yeah, that's um, how they react to phosphorus rounds. No. Uh, no alarm, at least. Oh dear. But I'm pretty sure everyone is alerted now that something is going on. Uh, let's see. What can we get with this? Hmm. Okay, that's one way to get in. Now then, where are these explosives? Double checking for any hidden goodies. Can these open? Yes, as well. <laughs> okay. That gives it's us plenty of oversight on everything. Uh, there is a lot of attention to details in this game. Yeah, it, it is monolith after all. Let's yeah, see. It, it, again, not many games will go into so much work into these <laughs> kind of games. Yeah, we had the same with Singularity, that they had, they did a lot of stuff that they really didn't need to do. And we're kind of stuck up here, so we're going... Yeah, we, we can't actually climb up on things, so we're going to have to take some fall damage here. Which I get the feeling might kill us. Why well, I am not surprised. <laughs> yep, there we... Yeah, that was a death trap. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think mean, I just really figured out why you were able to knock on the sewer uh, lid. Or it's called a sewer lid or crate. Uh, sewer grate, I believe, is the typical wording. Ah, thank you. I think it's due to our um, wait, what's her name again? Kate. Yep. Uh, she actually had the same uh, out, uh, type of clothing as a April from Neo Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a point there. Oh, but maybe not exact same, but very similar, just slight design difference and uh, different coloring, but very close. Yeah, it's still a jumpsuit. Yeah, and I think even as a kid I found it weird, like I, I know I see many news reporters in the cartoons and stuff, but April was definitely not your average reporter. Yep. Let's see. Let's try and be sneaky again. There we go. We have the high ground. Wait, is there actually a room behind that? Or is that just decoration? Okay. Just to be... Oh, he was already going to go back there? Okay. There we go. Nobody should find him there. Yeah, suddenly someone others. finds them. It's 
put up a quick save. Now we're not going on to the house crates. Let's see. Yeah, try to remember. Was it that? Was it that game where you could actually silence your sniper rounds by firing when only lightning strikes? Uh, there, that has been done by a few games, and we actually have one of those lined up for the next showcase Sunday. Oh, uh, I, I, think. Don't remember, I don't remember where I heard it from. If I heard it from a review or some game, or from one of our other, our something Sundays. Hmm. Wait, something so. Oh no! Yes. Just because I had uh, talked about ice cream with some friends yesterday, now suddenly it might just something someday to be a ice cream variant. No chance going on here. Okay. Uh, is there any? There's any fuel barrels over there? We are a bit out of luck. Um, I can hear a camera. I presume it's the one oh, at the front door. No camera here. Okay. I was thinking about luring one of them over, but they did that all their own. Wait. There we go. Wait, what? No barrel there, though. Hmm? I thought someone just opened it for you. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's put up a quick save. So one barrel down, three to go. Hey, Floyd! What? Bring me a soda! What do you want? Orange Crush! Okay. Really? We're out of Orange Crush! Want something else? Ah, forget it! <laughs> really? <laughs> At least one of them heard. Oh. Okay, this feels weird. Mm -hmm. I, the drink I'm drinking is a recent drink over the years, and it's called Luca Crush. <laughs> Luca being the brand, and Crush is being a new drink that is like a way, a, a bit more natural version of a soda, without being as sugary as soda. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure he wasn't going to get uh, orange soda out of, well, a cola vending machine. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Do apparently I... I have to say that my favorite uh, type of soda would probably be grape... Oh, fuck. Be what would, now? Would be grape uh, soda. Really? Grape? Yeah. Or I... we call it, uh, it's generally called Cassis here. C A double S I S. Cassis. Yeah. That rings a bell, but not a good one. The Albatross. Do we need to interact with this? Nope. Because I don't remember where I heard that word before. Or just. I just hope my brain is trying to trick me that it's a slime for something dirty. I hope I'm wrong. But yeah, no. I can say this about the uh, Luca Crush. There is no orange flavor at the moment. Only apple, pear, and raspberry. Okay. Go. Oh, uh, ah, come on. <laughs> I was hoping we could use that, uh, this to drop that on him. Oh, I was wondering if you were trying to, yeah, pick lock it with your hairpin. And actually, yeah, yeah, probably yeah. good you were not able to do that, for that would have been very noisy. And would attract a, a lot of attention for 
let's be honest. If you hear someone, someone getting crushed... Yeah, there's another silent crime. Yeah, someone will investigate that. No camera here. Also, speaking of uh, small details that need to be done, uh, we had it happen before that one of our enemies actually shot the barrels and blew, well, blew everything up. Uh, that, that's also something that uh, I think is often skipped in games. That um, yeah, sometimes if you shoot a barrel yourself, that it'll explode and it will fail a mission if they need it to go off later. Uh, but to have enemy fire count for that, or well, to have it... Yeah, I forgot about the camera. <laughs> To have that happen at all doesn't always uh, happen or get, gets put into the game. No. And the thing about it, it, usually when you see a barrel, the explosion, usually you are not near it. But the enemies are. Let's see. I can hear a camera there. Let's see. A bit of scouting from what we can see. I'm... I thought for a moment that was an enemy, but no, that's a pole. Okay. Wait. Do you mistake that for being a variant of Siren Hand, like Lantern Head? <laughs> no. Yes, that's a thing. I think they're called Lantern Head or Street Land Head. Um, what was the name? What was the name? Siren Head. Yeah, I just said uh, relative to Siren Head. <laughs> Wait. Somewhere by the bridge. Oh, it's one of those. I think those places used to be common in some places, but I think they since then made them more rigged and sturdy due to. I think due to how often they may led to people tripping. Good chance of that, yeah. Let's see. Was that all of the explosives? It's... Yeah, activate the four explosives. Okay, I must have missed one in my count. Um, hmm. Return to rendezvous point. Okay, so that's just get back to the start. Okay, should be easy enough now that everyone between here and there is dead. Oh dear, oh dear. Right. What do you do with that? I can get, get another drink. So don't die, don't fail, and whatever you do, don't anger the lizard. Uh -oh. Okay. I didn't expect them. No, did I? What the heck? Right. Luckily enough, they didn't go for the alerts, though. Since there was an alarm button on the post. Yeah. There we go. I thought he was... Oh, damn it. I thought he... Uh, where the fuck did they come from? Oh, uh, oh, this one actually moved around to try and cut me off. Uh, yeah, I... I think you can guess my face expression <laughs> in the kitchen when I heard the alarm through my headphones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> the, the body was just inside the side and the view of the camera. Uh, well, it's going to get their attention definitely for now. <clears throat> oh, hello again. Grab a seat. It's almost showtime. I hope this works. It'll work. Damn, looks like they're leaving some guards behind. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with all of them. Wish me luck. Wish you luck? 
What, you thought I was gonna let you handle this? It's way too dangerous. Is that so? Absolutely. Why, because I'm a woman? What did I tell you about patronizing me? Just drop the Joan of Arc routine, okay? I've got a lot more field experience than you do. I've read your file. Subtlety isn't really your specialty, is it? I can be subtle. Then explain that shirt. What's wrong with it? Look, I've spent most of my life getting into places I'm not supposed to be. Anyway, if I do get into trouble, I'll be needing a knight in shining armor to come to my rescue, won't I? Well, when you put it that way. Good, then I'm off. Wait, how are you planning to get aboard? You can't just waltz up the gangplank. I'll figure something out. You really don't like this shirt? Ciao. <laughs> it isn't exactly I... a subtle shirt. Yeah. Here. Uh, what was his name, full name again? Uh, John Goodman or something? Yeah, I don't know his last name, and he pissed off the Amsterdam police uh, more than his first name. What kind of music do you like? Exotica mostly. Les Baxter, Sonny Sodasi, people like that. Playing this anybody? Not right now. I haven't had a lot of free time since we started this operation. Yeah, no kidding. Why, are you starting something up? Well, me and a couple of guys from security have been playing once a week at this little club downtown. Really informal. Improvisation, mostly. Sounds fun. You see things is coming big? Yeah, sure, why not? Groovy. You know where Cab Cab Cabaret is? Down on Hoffenstrasse? Sure. Cool. Just show up around 9 o'clock on Wednesday. Is the trap set okay? I don't want to haul all my gear. Perfect. Alright. Looking forward to it. And we don't want to kill these two. Yeah. Oh dear. I, I think that's a little bit part, part of the reason I have some. Uh, you end up not wanna wanna kill them, so you end up trying to not kill them. At the very least, we can knock at least one of them out and spare them. Uh, if this guy is still in here, oh, he has a camera I'm watching him. Uh, let's just leave him in there. If we screw up and the alarm sounds, yeah, then, <laughs> then we're not going to be able to spare him. At least we can disarm this guy. Let's see. This is where Magnus and Wagner were just a moment ago, which, well, are probably as German and as Scottish a name as you could ever get. <laughs> and that over there is actually a... A point for a different. Okay, he's coming this way. But yeah, that's for a gadget we don't have access to yet. It's going to wait for that guy to round the corner. So if we're not supposed to go that way, what way do we need to go? Is that going to open? The other door over that way didn't. Or can we just go underneath here? Okay, he's, he's not going to move. He's just going to guard underneath a camera. So if we kill him... I'm going to hide down here if it's all the same to you. Yep. Okay, I didn't think you'd actually see us, because, well, typically enemies can't really spot anything be be beneath them. But, yeah, I guess I just was proven wrong. Yeah, again, this attention to detail. A little maze. Anything hidden here? Or just a little hidey hole? Hidey hole. 
He was really quick on the draw. <laughs> Probably because he heard the gunshots before. Oh dear. But I, again, I am impressed of this game. Like, I'm kind of surprised I've not heard of this. Yeah, then there's not many spy games I have heard of to begin with. Like, so, actually, yeah. There. The, the, the only spy game I remember people talking about has been. Golden Eye and Spy vs. Spy, I think. But I'm not sure if Spy vs. Spy was really a spy game. As more two spies beating each other up. Yeah, that was more of. Uh... Okay, he wasted a bunch of shots there, but okay, still got him. Uh, to, I don't think I've ever played Spy vs. Spy myself, but what from I have heard, it is... Uh, I, I don't actually remember much of what I've heard of it, but that it is supposed to be more of a, yeah arcade-like game. Yeah, I, I think the Cobra sounds, but I don't really see the different play it. Who know they uh, talked a lot about uh, li liking it. Okay, that's the way out. Um, let's check for a little bit more here. Oop, someone took a shot. Some body armor, we can use that. Oh, oh, it's you. Uh, uh, I'll just leave you and your drummer friend alone for now. Uh, at least he's sticking to his job and not actually trying to flee or something, even though I heard, I'm pretty sure we heard someone shout that they were just going to hide away. Uh, uh, quick save, just in case. And yeah, then we just get on uh, top of the gantry when it comes over. Oh. Pardon? Let's see. <clears throat> Oh, hush it, wind. Hmm. I burp and the wind shouts at me. It must like think you were a blowhard. Maybe the... What the heck? Bloody... You know what? I'm gonna close the window. You start to rain... After I burp the rain, you start to blow hard outside with the winds again. Jane, Quick save. And there we go. I was pretty sure someone should, someone should be in there. But I guess they're working up automated here. Okay. Did your sister die as I turned my back to you in real life? <laughs> yep. There All we right. go. Okay, That's it. Just I'm, gonna sit. Tell, I'm gonna tell you not to die. Even I was just gonna need to go over and close the window. Hmm. Not, I'm not sure if we could have gotten over there. But oh well. We're done with this scene. go and they actually leave the body there just details like that huh the game is is a lot of detail work so we can't go into the crates or anything wait I think I have heard of this game So, I think I noticed one problem. I may have heard of it as a kid, but due to the title, I thought it was one of the, based on one of the game's Bond movies. <laughs> it is a very Bond-like, damn it. It is a very Bond-like title. Yeah. Uh, what's gets the game like, names again? Oh, hello, new pistol. Uh, the operative, no one lives forever. 
Yeah, I think I heard people more say that last part. No one lives forever. And oh blood! I wait, wait. Oh yeah. I, I, I try to remember the James Bond movie. Which I think I, you can see which one I may think of that has a similar name. Uh, um, I'm actually trying to think, but at, at the same. You down here? I'm um, actually drawing a bit of a blank at the moment. Spy who loves me. Tomorrow, no. tomorrow will never die. Tomorrow dies. never dies. Uh, it, it might be that one I may uh, mix it up with. Could be. Hey, I just got word that there was some more trouble on the docks. Boss says to keep an eye out for anything suspicious. All right, I'll put Stern and Goodmanson on watch. That's a horrible accent. Yeah. This is Horvick. Send Stern and Goodmanson down here, will you? Yeah. Okay, they're actually using the intercom. <laughs> Damn it, I thought you were away. Oh well. I wonder if that actually causes. If they're uh, yeah, allowing that to happen actually means two more guards have spawned somewhere or not. Oof. And I'm guessing Bottom. that is one of the... Yep, that's one of them. Let's have a look, actually. 63 uh, rounds for this. And... Okay. So they are still separate ammo types. For these, at least. I know number six uses the same ammunition as the uh, P38. You okay? You look terrible. I have a really bad headache. I went to this club last night. It took me two hours to get in. Popular, eh? I guess so. Although I don't know why. The music, it was the most horrible thing I ever heard. Hey, I've been to places like that. No, you don't understand. I thought I understood what bad music was. This place? Imagine that bad music is its own art form. The woman who was singing would be the Beethoven of bad music. Come on. First of all, it was operetta, which is bad enough. Oh. What made it truly painful wasn't that it was completely out of key, although that was certainly unpleasant. It was that it was so vicious, like she was trying to kill the audience with her voice. Maybe she was. No, if you had seen her, you'd know. She didn't realize how bad she was. What she looked like anyway? Very large with bright rosy cheeks, dressed kind of like a milkmaid. You're kidding? No, I'm not kidding. What's her name? Inge Wagner. How did you know? She came aboard an hour ago. What? It's true. Didn't you read the memo in the galley? I never read those. We're supposed to assemble on deck after breakfast tomorrow for a motivational concert. I get it. Very funny. You really had me going for a moment there. I'm not joking. Please tell me that you are. I have to get off the ship. Maybe I can hide somewhere? Do you think they'll notice if I'm not there? I doubt it. Hell, I'll join ya. <laughs> Those two are going to jump overboard. <laughs> I, I, I agree this is a horrible thing, but... Okay, you know what? I would say she may not that bad, but then again, I realized we we are spared from the sound she might be able to make due to yeah. not being in the same room as her. Hmm? Okay, I think I'm not sure where exactly all of the you saw me from oh, a you. far away. And again, this is uneasy. So they read. Imagine how quickly and easily they'll spot you on the higher difficulties. 
Oh. You know what? I don't dare. Okay, that was the own fault for missing the first shot. Yeah. Oop. Well, at the very least, I don't have to attend the most occasional concert. <laughs> oh, damn it, you stole my joke. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, I didn't notice him. And there's another. Also, a uh, harm subtlety you are not. Like, seriously, how are they doing business if they're this obvious with their... <laughs> When there's shootings. Okay, it's not, that's not one of them. Okay. Ain't, ain't that common with many evil organizations in spy movies? Yeah. But especially cartoon ones. Uh, actually, the cartoon ones, many evil organizations are this sloppy. That or they, uh, it's just, <clears throat> it's a cover up, like, uh,. Helpful army of reformed missionaries. Then yes, I did just think that up on the spot. <laughs> oh, okay, that's that's better when I thought uh, up uh, earlier at the beginning of the uh, the, the stream today. Hmm. Uh, what, what was your thought of uh, Holland Arm Royal Military? Eh, somewhat works, though no, nobody in the Netherlands actually calls it the Holland here. Let me do a quick save. Oh, too low. Yeah, we, we, we usually say... We, 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 hmm. we switch between Holland, Holland or Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah, Netherlands is the correct one. I think we've said this before during a stream or two, but Holland in general is references to two of the provinces, uh, North and South Holland. Uh, North Holland is where Amsterdam is, and South Holland is where The Hague is. All right. But yeah, that, that's how we switch. Well, we, we switch between Netherlands or Holland. Uh, Holland. I think this people mostly use the term Holland due to many Hollanders moved to Sweden under one point. Okay. To have building stuff, and a lot of them ended up staying. This is hence why I have Dutch heritage. Okay. Uh, I hear footsteps, I think. Oh, that's... Uh, where, did we ha do we have the lighter with us? Yes, we do. I don't think. I, I, yeah, I don't. I think the only Ned, Netherlands and, uh, and Holland is only used there. I don't really even have official term for Zealand and such. But mm. we do have a term for New Zealand, Nia Zealand. Okay, stuck for a moment. I hope we're not missing any of the barrels, because otherwise we'll have to backtrack all the way to them. And I can Ooh, hear that the visitation has arrived. Well, if they you were the lost, should mean uh, it will take a while. Yeah. I saw someone's leg there. Yeah, they're all on alert, or on low alert at least, which means that our sneak attacks aren't dealing as much damage as before. It also well helps if I shoot them in the bloody head instead of the torso. Let's see. There we go. What's shot. this? All ship employees, if it were, uh, if it was you that set up the mold growing experiment in the ship's refrigerator, it has been a success. Remove <laughs> two of your growing apparatus from the refrigerator and put them in the sink. Please record your results and remove your lab equipment from the kitchen, or I will do it for you. Okay. What? I'm. I'm. <laughs> 
I'm guessing they're being sarcastic and that someone just left food out in the fridge for way too freaking long. Ugh. Oh, that reminds me. I, I have to, on the way, they drop basically an entire bottle of sriracha. Okay, that, that I... went bad. Oh, hello. Lock it up. Why not just kill her? Don't tell me my business, laddie. Yes, sir. But I don't see why you don't just kill her. You won't be seeing anything if you don't do as I say right now. Yes, sir. Well, ambushed again. Now, generally, spicy stuff doesn't really go bad, or at least uh, as quickly. Demand an explanation. What is it for warrior? <laughs> Heinrich tells me the girl is still alive. Perhaps you did not understand my orders. Your orders? Ha! You don't give me orders. She was to be liquidated. Why did you spare her? I'll not say a countryman without a fair fight. The girl's just doing her job. She's a threat to our operation. I'm sure the director would agree with me. Then you kill her. Coward. Fatty. Drunk. Fatty. <laughs> you disgust me. What was that? That's an explosion. Find out what's going on. Jawohl, Frau Wagner. Open that was an odd movement. Did he say ship or sheep? Sheep, I think. Why? Oh, uh, no reason. Uh, do we have to worry about someone having stashed a sheep on board somewhere? And uh, yeah, <laughs> we're deep into it now. Dear. Let's go. What about the cargo? You're welcome to fetch it, fatty. As for me, I'm getting off this boat before she sinks. But the operation? We can replace the cargo, but I'm one of a kind, if you take my meaning. The director will not be pleased. Then stay here and show your devotion. I'll nail up a commemorative plaque for you in the ladies' room of that wretched nightclub of yours. I can't help it if my beautiful cabaret is infested with beatniks. I've tried to get rid of them, but they're like roaches. Probably because they think you sing like that on purpose. Experimental jazz or some such shite. Cretton. Enough of this jabbering. You're out of my way. Your hideous mass is blocking the bulkhead. Uh, oh dear. Damn it. Okay. Oh dear. But yeah, yeah, this I thing is actually to... sinking, so we're on a time limit, I think. Yeah, and yeah, I had to throw the Sriracha away for... Yeah, it expired about a month, and I feel like it could be safe, probably is... I don't think I could be able to finish it before it went fully bad. Yeah, That's right, uh... I bought the Sriracha bottle before the pandemic. And yeah, they had taken all of our weapons, and I just remembered that that lighter was hidden somewhere in there. Ooh, we're not heading that way. Uh, I don't think we want to stay in this water for too long with all of those barrels. Yeah. And uh, for your free information, I hate throwing out food, so I try to make sure I eat it up before it expires or as quick as possible, if it has. Uh, some last longer than others, but yeah, I do hate when I have to throw out the, uh, away food. I hate it. I thought the water level would be rising over time, or maybe they, ew, maybe they uh, patch that out with the van patch. That's not a good sign. Uh, wait, ain't that a? 
Come on, come on. Seriously, what is with these ladders like this? There we go. Turn that off. Okay, now we can go underwater. Though technically we would have been killed from like electrical shock anyways already, just from wading through it in here. Also warning, you must post no sparks in the water, but usually it's signified by having lightning water. Uh, lightning water? What? Uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you could say that may have been something that was missing, or maybe they didn't have it like that to make it seem realistic, because of course it's not going to be visible when water is uh, electrified. Yeah, so you sing the it by sound, this makes sense, but not the lightning water. If you speak of game terms, I think people get what you mean with that, so they usually add lightning in water when it's electrified, but... Saying it out loud does sound rather... Hello there. Silly? Ah, uh, fuck. So what were you to say? Your weapon. We still have our lights. Uh... Now, just, I was just annoyed with the, this ship is bloody sinking and the water is rising, it seems, and this guy still has finds time to... Well, attack us instead of getting the hell out. And, well, this also shows how ineffectual melee combat is, I guess. Unless you get the sneak up on them. Yeah, Kate isn't the strongest. Ooh. Hmm. I, I think we missed a pistol somewhere on the floor. Yeah, we're not going to get the win in this battle. Seriously, is it some... Oh, there it is. Seriously. Here we go. Yeah, after we lose all of our armor. And, yeah, doing that speeds up the flooding in this area quite a bit. Okay. So, yeah, let's just GTFO. Ooh. Uh, yeah, definitely GTFO if this wall starting to distend like that. Actually, actually, was it was it Monolith who also made uh, Singularity or something? Uh, we need an air pocket. We need an air pocket. I don't think we're going to get an air pocket. Nope. You needed to shoot the windows, perhaps? Yeah, uh, we're on the water already, so that would have only allowed more water in. But it would allow you to have a room to swim out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one. AKE basically saying you could make a shortcut out of the boat. What do we do? Yep. Benny, let's go through the engine room. Okay, we'll just have to do a bit of this again. Though now that we know that this place isn't actually sinking, we can well, move a bit faster without worrying. It's just that one part where things are going to be sinking quickly. Yeah. And yeah, I, I guess it wasn't required to find all four of the suspicious barrels. So yeah, definitely I'm... I think we found only bloody one of them. Okay. Oh dear. Stuck on something there for a moment. Don't ask me why going backwards up this th in these things works better than going normal. But oh well, let's not get stuck inside of the dynamo or whatever it is. Is there anything down there, Brad? Yeah. Besides? Wait, I just realized something. Hmm? I think I just realized the design oversight. The, the water was electrified, correct? Yeah. Or well, supposedly it was. All of this thing you're walking through is on the water. Yeah, so unless Kate has rubber boots, she would have been killed already. So 
She might actually be wearing rubber boots. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, rubber boots might be enough, but still, you, you get my point uh, that that could have been an oversight. Maybe, but a small one compared to everything. Okay. Yeah, though, in most games, they are... Silencer. Not merciful with that there. Uh, like, it doesn't matter what boots you wear. If it wants to certify, you die. Even if you and only there it is. slightly poke it. There we go. Brown 9mm. Also, now we know this guy is around here, so... He's not actually responding to the light. Well, he might have been responding there. He wasn't responding at first to it. Okay, quick save. Let's take a bit of distance, and there we go. And for once, we are not the reason the alarm is going off. Okay, run, one, run. Come on, Kate, keep running. Keep as much air as long as possible, and go. Okay, no pockets. No pockets of air. Halfway gone already. And yeah, we're deep underwater now. Okay, seriously. Wait. Uh, recall notice be advised the newly installed H2000 waterproof wall safe in harm vessels has been recalled due to faulty K rings. This isn't where we're supposed to. Go. What the? Okay, what way were we supposed to go then? Hmm. Or are we not supposed to shoot that? Uh, it's the only way forward. Or is it? Yeah. There's no door the other way. Okay. And go. Uh, secure hatch in the... Wait, is that... Does that actually work? That uh, that actually bloody works. Okay. Uh, oh, so wait, that's an actual... Ain't that an actual thing you're supposed to do? I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, <laughs> which is way too hasty. This, this entire area isn't supposed to flood. Okay. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, that Again, helps a lot. <laughs> And again, attention to details. And suddenly you're not underwater, as you said you were. I'm guessing with that one door, the entire model of the boat gets moved down. That's quite something. Uh, let's see. Oop. Tracking beacon on radio, okay. And we didn't recover our possessions. They were probably in that safe. Actually, uh, let's do a quick reload and see if we can find that safe. Okay, just a quick skip back. Maybe we can get something new with our stuff as well. And there we go. And close as Shut you quickly. Possible. There we go, yeah. I never actually knew that, so every time, whenever I played this game before, I must have just completely rushed toward, uh, towards the radio and, uh, yeah, <laughs> bolted for it as quickly as possible to put that stupid tracker on it. Oh, dear. So, yeah, that, that one door is keeping this entire bloody ship afloat. Hmm. Okay, but where is this safe then? Wait, where is it a safe? At the... Before you shot again or that? Maybe... I guess we must have missed it. Wait, I think I know where. Oh, you need to reload and not shoot the thing. Okay. Let's 
Let's see. We can't go any further back than this, though. And I'm not seeing any safe here. Wait, behind you. Yeah, these are just uh, standard lockers. Oh. So, yeah, we must... I guess it must have been in that one door that we... In that one room we couldn't fully um, open the door of. Hmm. Okay, let's do this one more time, just in case the autosave would skip some of the debriefing and such. Okay, close you. And, yeah, finish this up. Hmm. Oh, well, we still got a new weapon out of this. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, it just means that we're going to have to get our possessions back when this, <laughs> when we recover this entire damn ship. You forgot the little thingy. It's just one bit. Oh, well. You are proving to be an inadequate operative, Agent Archer. You have yet to carry off a successful mission. Well, perhaps all is not lost. At least you placed a beacon in the radio room, which will allow you to locate the sunken freighter. It would probably be worthwhile for you to practice diving in a controlled environment before attempting this mission. Yeah, we're actually going to salvage this damn thing. But first... Fabulous cigars, Carlisle. Absolutely fabulous. Aren't they? A close personal acquaintance of mine is in the import-export business. Gets them direct from Havana. Care for another? Don't mind if I do. After you smoke that one, you really ought to try one of these. Not Cuban, but I challenge you to tell the difference. Shall we turn it into a wager? Jolly good. Smashing. I only wish the commissioner were here to fatten the pot. Here I am. Commissioner, good of you to join us. We're just about to embark on a little bet. Gordon here contends that his non-Cuban cigars will dupe seasoned connoisseurs like us. Rubbish. Hear, hear. You'll feast upon those words soon enough, old chaps. Frankly, I'd rather smoke them and wash them down with some more of this fine cognac. Isn't it divine? No smashing. <laughs> What's the matter, Commissioner? You look a mite warm. Pale as cheese. Are you quite all right? I'm not sure. On my way here, a big bald chap with an eye patch poked me in the leg with his umbrella. I've been a bit gassy ever since. I say. What a rude fellow. No wonder you're upset. I hope he apologized. Actually, he said au revoir and handed me a lily. Oh. Yep. They got it working. Wait, hold up. Gas in an ex. Oh no. Oh no. I think what. I know what's ex actually happening to the people. Uh, care to elaborate um, or are you too scared to? Uh, Hillian, uh, do you know the reason. Military usually need to shoot corpses on battlefield and especially in water. Uh, because of bloating. Bloating that can explode. Yeah. And kill people. I think whatever this doctor's done is replicating that, but instead of dead people, it does the same thing but on living people. Yep. And, well, the commissioner was already a bit bloated by, well, himself. Yeah, that, 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 that's kind of disturbing. You, it goes from literal corpse explosion to leaving. Yeah, yeah this, this is. Okay, kudos for the beginning point for something very unique. But also, gosh darn, what kind of mind do you need to have to come up with that idea? That That's dark. Yep. Take some time to acclimate yourself to scuba diving. When you're done, return here. You might also want to familiarize yourself with the Morris Model 14 spear gun. 
It could come in handy. <sighs> that was a bit of a different noise there. But uh, yeah, we're going scuba diving. And for some reason, this... <laughs> This filter isn't as screwed up. But yeah, standard controls. Up, down, side, same. And I think the spear gun actually works outside of the water as well. Uh, they would. Yeah, this oh is basically dear. Batman's grapple. Oh dear. Uh, as I can see this, harpoon guns are deadly on land. I think some people think they are not very harmless on land, but that's false. If you're close enough, it can kill a person. And for some people who think that harpoon guns are weak, um, have you seen the harpoon cannons they used to hunt whales with? Yeah, I think those, but miniaturized. <laughs> yeah. And the big ones are more worse. That, that, that's basically a modernized ballista cannon, or whatever you call it. Harpoons are no joke, people. Return to your I... hotel to see if Agent Goodman has left a message for you. In either case, contact him and make plans. You'll need his help if you're to succeed. And yeah, you can guess already what we're going to do since this mission is called The Dive. I'm not going to be looking forward to this. Due to the smallest that takes, I thought it said D.Va. <laughs> so I thought we were to face you know who as a boss. Uh, not yet, at least. Oh, new gun. Gordon 9mm SMG. And the third is popular oh, 9mm no. submachine gun. Came into limited use at the end of the war and continued to be a favorite among clandestine organizations. It uses a 30 round side loaded magazine. This is basically a Sten gun. Yeah, it just got worse about the gun for me. I suddenly imagine that gun shouting as Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> that that, yeah, that would actually be makes it more terrifying. Yeah, I, I, I have a particular fondness for the Sten gun because I think the first gun... Yeah, I, run into that, I ran into that game the first time in the original Call of Duty or something, but apparently it was really disliked because... Basically, if you know Fallout 4 and its pipe guns, the Sten is basically the closest thing to a pipe gun you can get. Yeah, do I think like this one works? Mila, the one in Fallout shouldn't work at all without breaking apart or having some magic going on. I've seen some people review the gun and it's not positive. Let's see, let's take the beret with us, just in case we need to uh, unlock something. Yeah. Silencer, fire extinguisher is always nice. And let's go. Frankfurt in. Room 201, any messages for me? Frankfurt in. Well, hello there. I let myself in. I hope you don't mind. I could have shot you. But then you would have felt guilty. Don't be so sure. Oh, come on. Be nice. You might have warned me you were planning to blow up the bloody ship. I wasn't expecting you to be aboard long enough for it to matter. After all that talk about how sneaky you are, I figured you'd get aboard, grab the stuff, and get back off. Things got complicated. I've heard that before. Probably from your mother. What the hell were you thinking, anyway? Well, between the shipping manifest, the captain's log, and your photos, I figured we'd have what we came for. So why not inconvenience the bad guys a little? There's only one problem. I don't have the manifest or the captain's log. Oh, that's just perfect. Never send a woman to do a man's work. Hey, it was your surprise demolition work that got us into this mess. 
If you'd done your job, it wouldn't have been an issue. How could I do my job when the whole bloody ship was going down? You nearly got me killed. <sighs> All right, I'm sorry I didn't warn you. Are you happy now? No. Not much of an apology, but I guess it'll have to do. Did you at least manage to place a beacon in the radio room? Aye, I did. Well, I hope you're up for a swim. Room service! You ordered room service? Get down! You must have been followed. Listen, head for the safe house and grab some scuba gear. I'll arrange for a boat. Right. Any recommendations on how we get out of here? It's you I'm worried about. They know your face. All right, in that case, any recommendations on how I get out of here? Are you afraid of heights? I'm comfortable with anything under cruising altitude. <laughs> All right, then. Head for the roof. They won't expect that. I saw a fire escape in the back. You should be able to get down that way. Try to slip out of here without being seen. I'll do my best. Uh, I'm surprised. They... So far, I mean, being very much in detail, but... They skipped out on making holes on the door. And they haven't been doing that with any cover that we've been <clears throat> that we've been shooting through. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty fancy place. Oh yeah, no, actually that's kind of weird. Usually in games like these end games before this, games love to add gun holes in everything you shot. Is someone there? So oh, we've got a lot of ammo. Actually, yeah, it kind of feels weird that they did not do this for this game. I'm pretty sure me. the first shot should have missed him, but I guess his his hitbox was a lot bigger than it looked. Right, well, that's that as well. Right, I'm seeing us weirded out. This is probably one of the few games that ignores bullet holes. Let's see. To whom it may be concerned, the service in this, this hotel is terrible. I cannot believe that there's uh, no filet mignon available for lunch. In, <laughs> I refuse to eat fish and will take my business elsewhere, Mr. Landers. Uh, I don't actually know what the hell filet mignon actually is, but I'm pretty sure it's a bit too... This is supposed oh. to be a respectable hotel. I think we found a guy. That... Hello, armor. Oh. <laughs> For a moment I thought the freaking armor came alive, but it was a bullet bouncing off on the jackass behind us. <laughs> uh. Uh, wait. Hold on. Hmm? I got an idea. Grab the armor. <laughs> I don't think Kate can wear it. Or at least she can wear it, but not move along with it. She tip over it <laughs> immediately. Okay, so much for sneaking out undetected. Well, what else is new about you? <laughs> oh, and of course it's October. Best. Okay, that took a bit more than needed. Oop, and they killed the drunk, it seems. Wait, is he dead? Or you're s drunkly asleep? Oh, that says that. <laughs> he played dead. I oh, guess that's smarter than most folk here. Wait, 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 wait. Is he something I like? Mm -hmm. uh, wait. That ha. Is that doing coyote? Maybe. Is this supposed to be Spanish or something? Uh, yes. How much do you know about Don Coyote? Uh, a decent amount. Uh, I've never actually seen the video or read you know, a movie or oh, read any books about him, but I know that basically. Oh, again, detail work. Uh, basically, he's a loon who thought windmills were giants and well, it kept causing problems for people Oop. as he tried to be a, well, a knight. Yeah, he was, I think he was actually known as the Lost Knight. 
Actually, no, there was... Uh... There we go. I think the last knight was still around in 1940s or something. He actually fought in the Second World War or something. Though I can't fully confirm that. Well, I think it was the... Uh, we have to know I think it was the... Good. Stay here in case she comes this way. Right, I was trying to say he was the last traditional knight, you know, in with horse, heavy armor, all that. He was lost, the last knight of that kind. Wasn't he... Uh, isn't he fictional or was he actually based on something you know, one real? I think he was real. Let's see. Really, Harmogram. Suspected Unity safe house under surveillance. Stop target. Uh, stop target spotted. Arriving to uh, 200. Please advise end transmission. Really, Harmogram. And there's more. There's of the 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 they have a lot of copies of it. Maybe it's not Don Coyote? Photograph of Magnus Armstrong in the midst of a barroom brawl. He appears to be winning. <laughs> not surprised. But what the hell is that doing in here? Oh dear. Okay, those have been disabled. So how do we actually get out? Prevent casualties again? Yes. Oh no. I just remembered. There is a Warhammer fancy version of Don Coyote. Okay. And as a joke, they, they have added him in a mod. I think it was a mixer locker. And as I, I think it's a joke, but I had to add him bonus against windmills. <laughs> and that's that's how I realized, oh, it's the warmest parody of uh, Don Coyote. Cleaning uh, up this mess. Uh, whoa. Um. Okay. Okay. Surprised? What is your said? Surprised of the figure? They. Yeah, they really went sexy uh, house made with that one. I'm but guessing uh, lethal brawls are a common thing here. If she responds to that, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Casually. Wait, did she wear glasses? I think so. This just leads back here. So where the hell is this fire escape that he was talking about? Uh, it's gonna. I, I, I think I'm afraid of that maid. <laughs> oh wait. Any windows? Oh, there we go. Where's the... Where, where's that coming from? Oh, there. Hold on a sec. And looks like he's vibrating. My Killian. Uh, yeah, seems like my turn is coming up, so we'll have to call it soon. Uh, Goodman, this is not a fire escape. Yeah. <laughs> moving, <laughs> moving. Alarm, alarm. Oh, there you go. But I was to say, the way I learned about Don Coyote was from a cartoon. They're aired on the morning. Yeah, this is going I to never be saw a full episode damage. of it, but I also done Coyote, I... saw night, a fox knight in straw hat. I was wondering, who the heck is this? And then when I actually visited Mallorca, then I saw a knight with a straw hat everywhere. Not a fox, but they realized, oh, it's a historical figure from Spain, as well as uh, from uh, realizing from books as well. It's made the cartoon a bit more sensical, even though he kept attacking windmills. Okay, so I guess it might be be actually based on a real historical figure. And how can I help me? 
Oh yeah, I, I think I heard it, learned it first from cartoon. Then when I'm reading books about knights, they actually mentioned him. But I was still not sure if it was a, just a myth or not. But when I went to Malior camp, they uh, yeah he he is a popular figure to sell as a souvenir everywhere there. Mm. Even a shop they sold some statuettes along with. <laughs> Axe guns. Gee, where the hell are we supposed to go here? Can't open any of these. And we can't go up or down the this. So where the hell are we supposed to go? Are you are you able to jump from this? Or I'm not entirely sure we're supposed to be here. <laughs> oh, come on. Hmm. You were killed. No, we accidentally killed ourselves. Uh, oh, wait. That probably is the correct grammar. Hmm. We're supposed to get up there, but... This is being... Do we need to... No. Okay. Uh, where are you? Oh, I guess this is one place to end this stream, then. Yeah, we, we did get still a lot done. Yeah. Okay, let's put up a save over there. And yeah, I'm I'm probably going to be feeling absolutely stupid as to where we're actually supposed to go here. Uh, but I'm going to have to look up where the hell we actually need to go, because we I, obviously need to get up there, I think. I, I see where, I see where. Uh, look towards the, the ladder. Hmm. See the door on the wall there? Door Under the, the lamp. This one that I've been walking by at least five the, times not that now. One. The, the wooden one. Oh, the one that's not glowing. Oh, okay, never nope. mind. Okay, a bit dumb that they don't let us go down, but oh well. Uh, just to be still sure, yep, it's still there. Okay, uh, yeah, shorter stream than usual, but at least it is a stream. And let's see. <clears throat> Tomorrow I should be able to do two streams again. We can do another one of uh, No One Lives Forever and one of Shantae. Though I don't think... Uh, I'll have to double check, but I don't think we'll be able to stream over the weekend at all, because I have work again then. Uh, night let me shift. double check. Let's see. And not night shifts, late shifts, which will cover both of the times that we would normally be able to stream. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, yep, Saturday, Sunday, late shifts. So unless we were to stream at like uh, 11 or something, or 10, we wouldn't, we won't be able to stream. And I don't think either of us wants to go that early. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, for now, uh, let me hide all of those away because this is still monitor capture, even if it's cropped. So, actually, we could just go straight to here instead of doing all of that. There we go. Uh, okay. Quit the game. Uh, and let's go look for someone to raid, then. All right. Are we prepared the axe launcher? Uh, let's see. Nintendo is actually doing a stream. Uh, Viking Blonde is online. Purgatory Dungeoneer. Uh, can't say I've heard of that. Uh, Touch Scaly Thail is streaming First Class Trouble, which is sort of like a... <clears throat> if I remember correctly, that is basically Left for Dead, but in space and uh, this in the 60s. Uh, Halloween 4545 is streaming Solstice, as in Solstice, not Solstice. And Chaos D1 is streaming Cloaks and Capes. Can't say I've heard of that. And beyond Oops, those, and uh, 
Iggy May is streaming Fallout 2. Uh, what is this? Of course she is. Of course she okay. Of course she stream Fallout 2 when I'll be watching Fallout lore videos today. Uh, then we have... Oh, this one again. Smoops Other Nonsense streaming Amnesia The Dark Descent. Uh, this is a new one. Nikki Yanagi, who is streaming Splatting 3. Nura Shiny, who is streaming Plate Up. Uh, Snipe and Vib, I think, yeah, I think we've seen them before. They are streaming Star Trek Online, apparently. Ooh. And then there's Duke Euphoria, who is streaming Stationeers. Any of those sound interesting? Hmm. I am tempted to say the one playing Fallout 2. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we have rated them a few times before. They, they actually got a new oh. model, I think. Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's go copy over their name then. Head to our place. Yeah, I'm probably a bit bad with their names until I see their names more often in front of me. But since you only speak their names, it suddenly becomes a weird thing. I have hard time to remember it. Well, I can fix that in one way. Uh, Discord, screen share, and then change windows to this one here. And there we go. You should be able to see all of them on the side now. Oh, oh you did send a turn, though. Yep. Uh, oh, they turn a special event. Okay, okay. okay. Any of those look interesting or sound interesting? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, either Amnesia or uh, Fallout. Uh, Smoops are the nonsense. We haven't raided them before, I think. So let's actually go raid them then. Uh, now, yes, I see it. Holy crap, it's actually an order. <laughs> okay. Slash raid, paste, and well, before we start that, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Noon, for chatting along. And I see you in the chat there, Sentai Tadpole. Thank you for lurking around, anyways. And uh, as always, thank you as well, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow, double stream of uh, more No One Lives Forever, where we'll hopefully escape this bloody fire escape. Uh, I, there's a pun in there somewhere. And then oh, some yeah. more Shantae in the uh, evening. Yay! <laughs> but for now, let's start that. And anyone else, thank you as well uh, for watching, be it now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Hey, people, uh, watch out for gremlings. <laughs>